I'm offering a compromise to Justin Trudeau. If he'll come out of hiding from under his desk, I want to make a deal with him. We all know that we're not going to agree on the carbon tax. He wants to raise it. I want to ax it. We all know that. Okay. But he is now admitting that taxing people's home heat does nothing for the environment and makes people worse off. He's admitted that with his flip flop on Thursday. So let's make a deal. Let's pause the carbon tax on all home heating until Canadians go to the polls so that we can have a carbon tax election where Canadians will decide between his plan to quadruple the tax to 61 cents a litre on heat, gas and groceries and my common sense plan to axe the tax and bring home lower prices. A carbon tax election. I think Canadians are deeply, deeply concerned about the need to continue to fight climate change in ways that makes life more affordable for them. That has been at the heart of what we've been doing for eight years with a plan that puts more money in the pockets of eight out of ten Canadians with the carbon price rebate and is actually bending our curve and going to reach reach our emissions targets. So we're going to continue to fight climate change and build a strong economy while we make life more affordable for Canadians. And one of the ways we're doing that is by working with provinces that are willing to, to deliver free heat pumps to low-income Canadians that are using heating oil. Because home heating oil is dirtier than, uh, than other forms of, of, uh, of uh, carbon heating. Home heating oil is more expensive than other forms of heat. And home heating oil is disproportionately relied upon by lower income Canadians in rural areas across the country who need more support. That's what we're doing, and that is absolutely something I am going to continue to stand for unequivocally while Mr. Polyev has no plan to fight climate change and therefore no plan for the economy.